when Goku sent Gohan to fight against Cell, Cell straight up killed him and Goku had to deal with the loss of a dead Gohan in his arms. At that point, there was nothing he could do. By the time he got there, Gohan was already dead. This triggers Goku into what I think is his most emotional transformation ever. Goku becomes a Super Saiyan 2 in the Cell games, and now Cell has to deal with the power and the raw emotion of a Super Saiyan 2 post-loss of Gohan, Goku. This story is by Rising Fist. If you want to support this and see more of it, I'll leave links to check him out. This is the story of the Cell games if it went down a slightly different path. Just like Gohan was in the main series, it's exactly the same thing here. Cell can't touch Goku, even the sensu beans that he's carrying. It's a completely one-sided fight now, but we get to see elements of Goku that we don't ever really associate his character with, ever. So here's what happens. When Goku transforms into a Super Saiyan 2, it is almost as if this transformation is too much for his mental state. He can't think properly. He is being extra violent towards Cell, and you could say fair enough he killed Gohan, but he usually enjoys his fights. This time, he is just pounding Cell, and it looks like he is bloodthirsty for the death of this man. It then cuts over to everyone else, the spectators, Trunks, Vegeta, Piccolo, and even Hercule. Piccolo was actually knocked out when he saw Gohan die, and when Vegeta tells him that Gohan is dead, he is just as emotional as Goku was, except he doesn't grow from it. He is crying. He is there with Gohan in his arms, saying, why did we let Goku force Gohan to fight Cell? We all knew it was a stupid idea. Why did we let him do it, is basically what he's saying. And you can tell that Piccolo and Goku both feel the same way, but they have very different outcomes when they decide how to move forward with Gohan's death. Piccolo is there in a state blaming Goku, while Goku takes full responsibility and is now doing everything he can to take down Cell. So even though it was Goku's fault, even in a story like this where Gohan died, I can't help but think that Goku is still doing the best he can. It then cuts over to Vegeta and he says to Piccolo, this is a battlefield, there is no place for weakness here. Pretty much talking to Piccolo because he's still crying. So he tells Piccolo and Trunks to leave. It is now just Vegeta watching over Goku dominate Cell. At this point, it looks like the soul has left Cell's body. He is looking like a cockroach every single panel. And rightfully so, he is freaking out. He is losing hope in his ability that he can beat Goku. Goku comes up to him and says, I'm glad that you're still alive. This would have been disappointing if you died easily. As he puts his fist up to continue the torture of Cell, it gets grabbed by Vegeta and he holds him back. Goku was planning on making Cell suffer, just like Gohan did in the main series. The roles have been completely reversed. This time, the Super Saiyan 2 transformation has, it's made him lose control of what reality is, and Vegeta sees this. He stops Goku because he sees that Cell is already beat. You don't have to torture him like this. It's better that you finish him off now. And he straight up stops him and says, how would Gohan feel about seeing you mess around with his killer? Vegeta steps in and says, let me finish this. And to my surprise, even though Goku's a Super Saiyan 2 and could easily tell Vegeta to go away, he lets him. He lets Vegeta stand before Cell, and in this weakened state, the only thing Cell can do is try to talk Vegeta out of it, saying, hey Vegeta, I know you like to fight, right? Let me eat a sensu bean. And Vegeta, he actually extends his hand to Cell, and it makes Cell think that he's helping him. But in a similar way to when Vegeta killed Nappa, he grabs his hand and throws him into the air. This is by far one of Vegeta's greatest moments. He throws him into the air and finishes him with a final flash. And just like that, Cell is gone. The mindset of Vegeta was not to play around like Goku. It was to go right into the heart of the problem and tear it out. Some time goes by and Vegeta asks Goku, what was that form that you were using? I've never seen it before. And right as he is asking that question, his eyes go white. A beam goes straight through his chest. Cell... Well, that final flash wasn't powerful enough. Cell has come back in his super perfect Cell form. Not only has he killed Gohan right in front of Goku, but now also Vegeta. And as he says, let the final round of the Cell games begin. So massive credit to Rising Fist so far. This is great work. If you want to keep up with this story in the last part of the battle, I'll leave links to check it out. And why Vegeta again couldn't get the job done I don't know, man. It's just his character. It's who he is. He has these great moments, but now just like Gohan, He's dead. In the next part of the story, it will be Goku, all by himself, going up against this version of Cell. Let me know what you think. Again, support the creator of this story down below. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.